you will not be able to migrate any rate cards from any previous systems you have used to this one, so you will have to set up individual rate cards for each sales account. Go back to Setup, on the orange bar, hover over Financial and then Rate Cards. You can see there are already some rate cards set up here, but I'll now show you how to set one up. Click on the button marked Rate Card. The first thing that you will have to do is name your rate card. We will call this Demo Rates on this occasion. Click on Save and the system will ask us to add the required vehicle classes and services to this rate card. Classes are the vehicles that you are going to attend. The services are what you are going to do when you get there. So here you are going to attend cars, light vans below 2.5 tonnes and larger vans between 2.5 and 3 tonnes. And this is what we are going to do, so just to keep it simple we are going to do vehicle recovery and roadside assistance. We ticked a default box on each so that when this account is used it will automatically go to car and roadside assistance, although this can be changed later at any point. Click on save and it will take us back to the recovery rates tab. The first thing we need to do is decide whether we charge different rates at different times, and if we do, we need to input what is our usual start time. So we will do this from 7am to 7pm and back to 7am again. Click on Save. Start to input into each line individually. If our roadside assistant rate is different for callouts etc, we will create an individual line for each. Apply a region to it, so if it's in the congestion charge area or low emission zone, you can apply a surcharge. For this example, we are going to provide roadside assistance. Class of vehicle should be chosen. We will choose cars and light vans at the same callout. Choose the day band. The system is programmed to show the day of the week and show bank holidays. We will just choose weekdays for this example and then choose a time band. You can add a callout charge here. The mileage rate is added here along with any free miles allocated. A trailer mileage cost is added here along with any free trailer miles and an hourly rate for working on the vehicle on the side of the road and any free time as the first half an hour of a callout is included within the cost. The system can now calculate costs using the rate card. Add that line and add additional lines as required, changing times or costs, depending on needs. It takes a little time to set up, but once it's done, it's done. So what we have here is two lines for our roadside assistance, covering classes cars and light like commercials, weekday, and A, during the day at £45 callout, and B, during the night at £55 callout. All the other charges are the same. So, for each scenario, complete a line, you can add different charges at weekends and bank holidays. The system will calculate all of these as they are pre-programmed. Once you have completed your rate card and saved, you can then go on to add re-delivery rates. Storage rates. So, add storage into the description. I'm choosing cars and light vans, a charge of £25 per day and first day free. Then, another rate with heavier vans where we increase the rate. You can cover all cost expectations. If you have workshop rates, you will need to apply those here, whether it's a service repair, MOT or inspection. The fee can be charged by hours or units, so an MOT will be charged per unit and the inspection could be charged per hour. And again, you can apply nominal codes to further breakdown for your accounts package. Specialist equipment is next. The more information you can add in on this, the less time your controllers will spend asking how much each item will cost and applying manually. So we have absorbent granules charged at £17.50. Add commission paid to the driver. If it's fixed, tick. Add to the list. Then adding a bed clean at £25 and commission payable to the driver. Keep adding as you go. We will go into driver commission more later.